A lot of hopes are riding on this GSLV rocket as it undergoes last-minute checks at ISRO's primary launch pad in Sriharikota, 100 kilometers from Chennai. The D5 mission is powered by an indigenous cryogenic engine that has undergone a number of modifications and extensive testing since it failed to ignite properly due to a malfunctioning fuel booster turbo pump during its first launch in April 2010. In a major setback to the GSLV program, a subsequent launch with the Russian engine in December the same year also failed due to the snapping of connectors in the control system, resulting in the vehicle going off track and being destroyed for safety reasons. Scientists working on the D5 version say the indigenous engine has undergone crucial tests at cryogenic temperatures and high altitude for the first time to ensure its smooth performance in space. The vehicle will seek to place an advanced communication satellite, GSAT-14, in orbit. The six extended C-band and six KU-band transponders on board will give a boost to India's telecom and telecasting sectors. The GSLV has a mixed record, notching up four successful launches out of seven so far. This makes the D5 mission a test case for ISRO to prove that it can hold its own among the big boys in space. With as many as 12 launches lined up in the next seven months, the future of the country's space program could well hinge on the outcome of this one. Philip Matthews, Doordarshan News, Chennai.